beautiful Pisces. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your career reading for mid-February right through to mid-March 2021. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody, so please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. This is a general reading and not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, I'm doing things a little bit differently uh, this time around. I'm going to do a Celtic cross for you uh, because I'm really enjoying the energy uh, that that brings. But let's get the overall energy for your career reading. We got the Empress card. Okay, so this is a beautiful energy. This is you calling in abundance. This is you knowing that you are uh, good enough at what you do. This is confidence. This is also, um, you know, an energy of creating a very um, stable environment. Also, I feel like there's a new version of you, Pisces. So I feel like um, a lot of people are going to see you with very healthy boundaries and a strong self-esteem here. When you get the Empress in that particular position, male or female, not a gender specific reading, it's about the energy. So I feel like there's a transformative energy here where you're standing in your power at work. Okay, so if anyone's trying to like uh, give you all the work to do, for example, if someone's coming along and saying, hey, you want to do this or, or hey, just do this and putting piles and piles and piles and stuff on your desk, I feel like you're like, Oh no, you've worked out a way of saying, oh no, um, yeah, I'll get to that when I can, I'm afraid, because I've got another project on. And I feel like you're not getting to that <laughs> work. It's almost like you're highlighting to somebody else, look, I'm not doing your work for you, okay? So if you're trying, don't. Look, I'm just, I know, I was like, why am I coming in with that? This is such a positive card, but why am I coming in with that? Because I'm feeling it. I can feel the devil's in, 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 devils in the details right there. So we got the devil coming on in, in the antagonist position, which indicates there's some sort of toxic behavior from somebody um, and you're releasing it. You're like, I'm not playing this game. I'm not doing it. I'm not allowing you to um, do what you've been doing all the time. I feel like you're, you're questioning the structure and the power that's going on here. And I feel like um, there's definitely a shift that people are going to be like, oh, Pisces. Um, I didn't see that coming. I feel like you're really standing in your power, which is beautiful. Okay. Now we also got in the unified position. We've got the, uh, the high priestess energy. Um, so very strong, intuitive energy there, enlightenment, but also, um, there's a lot of wisdom here, a lot of serenity. It's almost like people are looking at you like you're different. I don't know what's happened here, but you're different. And you're like, yeah, I'm different. I realize that, I, you know, I'm better than this. And, and actually... Um, I have more power in this situation than I realized. Um, and also we got the judgment card here. So you may be asking really big questions uh, for the time period I've set. Uh, you know, things like trying to get a final uh, decision on something, whether you should stay or go. Um, you're getting a bit of a wake up call here um, regarding your life's purpose. And I feel very much like um, you may be questioning how far you've come in this position or this job, this sort of sector that you work in and whether it pays it's dues, as it were, whether you get, whether you get back as much as you give. There's, there's this energy here of you sort of looking at things where, you know, there's a lot of energy vampires um, and, and taking your time, your wonderful um, ideas. I'm just getting, the, someone's taking your ideas. Maybe somebody um, has taken your ideas or something in the past and I feel like you're calling time on it. You're stopping it right there in its tracks and you're calling this person out. Um, but I feel like, yeah, you're stopping some sort of energy vampire, okay? Um, now, I'm just going to go to the devil card before I, I come to this. I feel like, you, you know, it's almost like you're feeling the fear and doing it anyway. I feel like you're shedding some sort of um, toxic situation. You're uh, detaching yourself and freeing yourself up from this because you become super aware at uh, the toxic cycles in play and you're just not having it anymore. This is your time and nobody should be binding your time to something you don't want to do. So I feel very much like if anything's been holding you back or you felt like you were powerless in a situation, people are seeing the new you Pisces and they're like, damn, we didn't see that coming. Also, I feel like the illusion is shedding away. If, for example, someone presented themselves as a very scary entity at work, I feel like you've really looked at this person, analyzed the situation, and you've realized that um, when you really look at that big shadow, it's just a big old shadow. This pe person's got bluster, they've got bravado, and it's almost like when you really look at the root of the problem here, it's kind of nothing. They're kind of like plain. They're kind of like, you know, innocuous. They kind of like don't matter. Okay, that's the energy that I'm getting. But they're creating this 
almost this illusion of people should be afraid of them or there's something going on behind the scenes and it's almost like you're just like you know what this is just be this is beneath me I, i'm not even getting involved in this drama so i feel like you're detaching um you're using your intuition there may be something here that came to the surface something that you didn't trust really in this situation and um i feel like there's an energy here of you blossoming and outgrowing this situation i feel very much like uh, you've either outgrown your environment or your position and you're like as I said, you're way ahead of people. You're on top of your game here. Um, you know, your, your, your standards are very high and you're worth a lot, okay? More than a lot, Pisces. Whatever it is that you do, you're really good at it. So I feel very much like uh, you may be thinking about other avenues to earn your money or, um, you know, you're self-evaluating the situation. Uh, you're at a bit of a crossroads here and wondering, is there a new life that's opening up to me? Should I purge these things and get rid of anything that feels like it's holding me back? And I feel like there's definitely a rebirth here and you're freeing yourself up. I feel like a lot of detachment, okay, is going on here. Um, because you may have felt really stagnant or you may have even doubted yourself in your workspace or your career path and you're like why am I doing that it's just stopping me it's just holding me back so you're coming in real strong in that with your self-confidence um, you're back in the game as it were now let's just clarify some of this energy thank you so much spirit guys got angels Woo! holy oh my gosh I mean that energy is off the charts okay let me just go get that that is crazy and it is beautiful. Wow. We got the sun card here. Bam. You're blowing things right out of the water. The sun card is a very positive energy. This is a lot to look forward to. Okay. So, you know, this is crossing your empress. So your confidence is way off the chart. And there may have been some sort of ego clashes of people in the past, but I feel like you're rising above it. The sun card indicates, you know, um, there is illumination here, but also there is success. There is optimism. I feel like you know, you're leaving all the darkness and confusion behind and you're stepping towards the light. So there's a lot of success here, a lot of a joyous outcome here. I feel very much like, um, you know, because you are taking back the power, I feel like all is good in your world again. It's a very auspicious sign. I feel like you, you're you owning it. You're totally owning this. That's what I'm feeling. Okay. And we got a knight of swords here. So there is some action. And I feel very much like you're, you know, this sword is the sort of BS and you're cutting anyone down who comes at you with it. I feel also there's a lifestyle change happening here. When you get a, a Knight of Swords, Knights of uh, in this particular um, set, the swords, they take action. They're not just sitting around for change. They're going out there and happening to life. So I feel like you're definitely um, cutting out the darkness or shedding anything that's been binding you and holding you back and you're moving forward. You're moving forward and fast, okay? So I definitely feel like there's huge changes happening here, but you're owning it. It's not something that you can't control. I feel like you've got a mission. I feel like you've got a renewed goal or a renewed sense of what it is that you want. And I feel like you're going after it. And nothing but nobody is going to... Um, stop you also i feel like there's some sort of communication that's coming towards you someone's going to tell you the truth it's almost like a reveal but i feel like it's something that intuitively you knew um but i feel like something comes out there's a communication that comes out that uh, that is life-changing okay um but it seems to be very positive and we got the five of swords it's in the reverse there which indicates it's peace there's peace but it feels like someone's been caught doing something or someone has been caught being underhanded or sabotaging in a situation uh but i feel like you're unaffected by this. I feel like deep down, maybe you uh, feel, well, you know what? What a douche. I feel like you feel, you know, this person has not acted um, according to their highest self, but I feel overall, you're going to come out on top. There's peace here. There's peace in walking away from a situation, knowing that you're owning it. And also if you're seeking, for example, a new position elsewhere, I feel like you've got communication coming on in um, that will change your life and bring you a lot more peace of mind, peace of and, and harmony there. I feel like um, you're pretty much unstoppable, I feel, because I feel you've got the power back. Now, I'm just going to pull another one before. Uh, they've given me a name, and it's Casey. Casey. So either your name is Casey or your surname is Casey. Um, they're definitely giving me, um, it could be the name of a place or an avenue or something, take it as it resonates. It's not going to be for everybody. If it doesn't resonate with you, please don't try to make it fit. Um, it feels like, um, 
whoever it is for it's just a highlight to them they need to pay closer attention to uh, this part of the reading uh, they're indicating here that there's a lot of competition or a lot of conflict that was going on there um, and it left people vulnerable uh, in or opened up to vulnerability it feels very much like um, maybe some people at work um, had to take some sort of pay cut um, because of the circumstances that have been going on around the world. I feel like they're showing me percentages. They're showing me that percentage sign. Okay, so it's percentages. So maybe you took a percentage pay cut or, uh, you know, there's a percentage of the workforce that has been let go. There's an energy here of you being your personal best, though, Pisces. we got the seven of wands. So that indicates, although there's conflict and competition, you're above the competition. And I feel very much like if there's any rivalry for positions, I feel like you're in a very good position. You, you've, you've risen up. Uh, through the ranks and I feel like um, it's going to be um, something that you're really passionate about I feel like you're continue on that path um, but I feel like there is something there's it's not like a darker force but I feel like there's something untoward where people are being either let go or their money is being um, downsized here I feel very much like there's a vulnerable kind of feeling at work um, and but it's and it's life-changing but I feel like you're coming out on top here so either it uh, sort of means that you're walking away and you're getting a new position elsewhere or your workspace has let you go it's actually given you the kick up the you know what to get something better that maybe you've been thinking about getting for a long time because we got a strong king of wands coming on in there now king of wands indicates entrepreneur so you may be getting your own business off the ground there but it's something that you're really passionate about this is aries energy so even though you're a pisces it feels like you know um there's peace of mind here because you're getting something else off the ground or you're doing something else that is more in line with your passion so i feel very much like uh you're being a bold leader uh, you're being courageous and you're going after your dreams and i know the idea of dreams sounds very far-fetched and high in the sky but i feel very much like you're setting something up that actually will lead to a lot of prosperity in the future and you're really happy about it it's life-changing okay so for example if the, your work environment has changed in some way that if you're working like a nine to five to pay the bills because you know we all take those jobs to try and fund something that we really dream about doing you may be doing something on the side getting an entrepreneur business up on the side there and it will work out it's going to grow exponentially and uh, it will grow to the point where you can shed or leave your the workspace that maybe is a little bit toxic okay because that devil card is showing that there's all sorts of toxicity going on there there could be you know addictions or obsessions or control in the situation you know people not acting in their highest regard but you're changing things so that you have a brighter future and you're confident they're showing here that you are above the competition okay and look you've got a lot of peace of mind and there's a lot of success to come here for you now let's get straight to your uh, Celtic cross I'm using the psychic tarot to get uh, how do you feel about this what is the heart of the matter in this situation whoa material and spiritual prosperity so this is how you're feeling right now okay trying to maintain the status quo trying to find some sort of balance and harmony there it's the six of Pentacles uh, you may be giving advice to people as well in this situation um, but you're definitely um, trying to maintain some sort of balance here now what's really interesting is that you know the emotions are high because we've got the water fountains there but they're indicating there is a brighter future ahead of you and a more financially lucrative future ahead of you as well also they're indicating when you get a six of earth it's an unexpected resource from the universe the universe actually comes on in and surprises with generosity a gift towards you it will be a pretty package okay so I feel like um, the universe is going to actually bestow something upon you uh, that helps you proceed forward and sort of there's an energy here of you looking at your land what you've got so far and where you want to go okay because the Sun is in the future there it's just on the horizon now what is the challenge in this situation thank you so much new beginnings okay the challenge is walking away and having a new beginning uh, opening yourself up uh, there's a there's an energy here of um, a cynicism a lost hope where you are it feels very much like um, you want to make this new this leap into doing something new but I feel like you're gonna be really savvy about it I don't feel like you're just gonna throw yourself out in the cold and not having anything that brings in uh, finances but you're definitely looking at some sort of new start you're contemplating it because we have the judgment card 
there, which indicates, you know, is this savable where you are? Can you give this place a second chance or do you need to move on and do something new? But they're indicating this is a challenge, okay? Because you've lost hope where you are, you're feeling down there, you're feeling apathy, uh, you're feeling that sort of sense of un being unfulfilled, and uh, you know that a new beginning is required here, but it's about taking that leap of faith, okay? So um, you want to open yourself up to something exciting or a new path here that brings something uh, more financially lucrative uh, and change your life, okay? Because they're given that nine of that knight of swords for a reason. So we also have what is below you, strength. There's a very strong foundation here below you, Pisces. This is uh, an Aries card. This is the Emperor card. So look. We have Emperor and Empress on the table as well. So you may be working with your counterpart, for example, uh, your soulmate. Um, so it may be difficult. Um, you may be navigating their uh, behavior in something. And it's like, should you stay? Should you go? But I feel very much like uh, you may be seeking some sort of knowledge. Because when you get an Emperor authority, you're taking the power back and you're planning for the future. You're strategizing. So you're thinking about what you should do in order to... Uh, get a brighter, more positive day. Also, with the Emperor card, authority indicates you may be speaking to authority figures or investigating uh, like institutions, banks, uh, governments, you know, finding out what the rules are uh, for you to move forward and get something different, okay? There's knowledge here. It builds a solid foundation for the future. So I feel like um, deep down, that's what you're trying to navigate. This is your underlying feelings. What's carrying you through this? You've got a very strong foundation in your situation right now. And it feels like you're ready no matter what happens, okay? Now, what was ready? What was in your recent past? Victory and success, okay? So you're very good at what you do, Pisces. Whatever that is, you're actually celebrated for it, okay? Uh, there may have been some sort of news that came in recently as well that allows you to make this new beginning. And if it hasn't, then depending on when you, re you watch this, because, uh, I mean, time is very fluid. So although I've set a time and a date, um, on this because that's the energy field that I'm reading. Um, it feels very much like whenever you uh, come across this reading, uh, it could be resonant for you. Uh, but there's an energy here of you're on the precipice of something big because of this news. Now this news may seem really innocuous. It may have felt like, oh, doesn't really affect me, but I feel like it will, okay, in quite a big way. So you may have felt like the good old days, you know, sixes are about love, what you love doing. You had passion for something. You were striving for something really exciting and you were doing really well at it. But then there was a shift. Something negative came on in. Now, this could be that, you know, things shifted within your workspace because of what's going on around the world at the moment. You know, all jobs are changing in very strange ways. Uh, but what is above you? Accelerated motion, news, more news coming towards you. Uh, this is something that you've been wishing for wishing on a star. This is the Eight of Wands. Uh, there's quick changes here. Again, it can, it collaborates with that Knight of Swords. Some news or some sort of information is coming your way that makes you uh, make huge changes and very quickly across the board, okay? This is often a very successful energy. As you can see, that wishing upon a star, the star is shooting across the sky, but it's going over all of that mountain, okay? So it's going to it's going to help you cross all the obstacles that you may feel are in your way and it allows you to rise up and do whatever it is that you're hoping for okay so that is your potential that is your dreams your hopes um you know what is possible for you right now uh, the news that came on in as i said there's something that you may feel was innocuous but actually it leads to something really big now what is in the future hope i'm loving that Okay, this is your near future. This is a star card. So the stars are aligning for your success. This is an Aquarian energy here. And I feel very much like this is a time of illumination, of hope, serenity, clarity, but also wisdom. The wisdom that you seek is available. So if you're trying to gather information um, to allow you to rise up and be successful, this is it. Also, I feel like whatever news this is that has come in in the recent past that you may have like thought, oh, this Okay, it doesn't really affect me. I actually feel like it does affect you in a very, very important way, okay? Uh, because it feels very much like um, it changes everything. And uh, it, it, there's some sort of wisdom in it or there's some sort of knowledge in it that helps you embrace either a new idea or growing in a different uh, arena. I feel like um, it changes your life for the better, for sure. I feel very much like you're being celebrated, for whatever it is that you do. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of people who don't agree with this next sentence, but I I'm just getting it, so I'm going to give it to you. Uh, there's some sort of promotion or some sort of raise here coming on in that allows you to um, think 
more financially long term that things are going to be okay okay um so i know a lot of companies are not giving out those things but they're actually giving that to me um so i'm going to give it to you don't shoot the messenger when i say that uh, but there's also um an energy of there's no more confusion okay you've had a test of faith in this situation and um it's almost like spirit has proven to you that they got your back this is a time for miracles being worked behind the scenes and you're going to be in the spotlight for something. Also, I feel like if um, there's been some, for example, if you work with your partner, if you are like um, married to somebody because we got the emperor and the empress on the, on the table there, or you're in a high level commitment with somebody that you love uh, and you're in a business together, entrepreneurship type thing, um, there may have been some sort of toxic thing that was going on there, uh, you know, trying to navigate tough waters and uh, it's bringing in a lot of arguments a lot of disharmony I feel like there's healing in this situation as well I feel like you and this person will come back into unity um, now they're indicating here for how you feel about the situation you're ready to take action look at that you're ready to move on so again this knight of swords and this is the chariot card here indicates there's gonna be some fast changes that are happening here but you're owning it you're making the changes okay this is action this is striving for um you know some sort of accomplishment when you get this card this is control you know you're controlling your destiny you are the mistress or the master of your destiny and you're motivated to go after your goals and your dreams the chariot is a very ambitious card but it also indicates that you'll be very successful okay because victory is yours you're not sitting back as i said and letting life happen to you you're going out of it out there and letting and and happening to life okay so i feel very much like if you're having a new beginning here um, you will sort of feel that fear and do it anyway. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Uh, what's the external environment for my beautiful Pisces? What are they dealing with right now? Destiny. Okay, so you're hoping for Destiny's wheel to come on in. You're feeling very fortunate. You're feeling like you're in the right space where you're meant to be. Even though there may be some sort of chaos or conflict going on uh, around you, you're feeling like there's change and it's bringing on in good changes. This is the wheel of fortune. I feel like there's definitely some sort of turn of events here that brings, um, you know, um, success and luck. But I also feel it's fortune's wheel meeting destiny and synchronicity. So I feel like there's a lucky break, but you're ready for it. So it's almost like a new opportunity coming your way that lands in your lap. But if you were not ready, then it would not be for you. But I feel like you're already you're prepared for this. OK, you have the skill set, you have everything you need to embrace this opportunity and the universe is sending it to you for a reason. They want you to rise up. They want you to be successful. OK, so destiny here, there's going to be something that comes into your environment that you're like, wow, this is like a miracle. I did not expect this. When you get a oh, destiny's wheel, it's a surprise. OK, it really is a big surprise. Now, hopes and dreams and fears. What we got going on there? OK, so. They've given two things. One is um, using your intuition, okay? So it's almost like we, we got the high priestess again. So they're indicating here that your hope is that your intuition is right on point and that anything that, uh, you know, that you've been mistrusting and secrets sort of coming to the surface, that you are able to navigate it and that you're able to move forward. Um, there's also an energy, sometimes you question yourself. You doubt your intuition, but the doors are actually unlocking for a brighter day. As you can see, you're very connected. So pay close attention to your intuition. It is on point. Um, also, there's a fear here, discontent and boredom. Where you are, it may feel like it's not working. You know, you're tired of the same old thing, the same old toxic behavior, the same old, you know, underhandedness from people. And I feel like um, you may be looking at what you've got right now and feeling that, you know, unfulfilled energy. Uh, and apathy and just when you're feeling that because this is the four of cups along comes the universe to give you a surprise okay often in the traditional right away to row um, a cup comes from nowhere out of a cloud of dissonance and um, the person is sitting by a tree and below is looking at all the cups the three cups that are spilt on the floor they feel like they've got nothing left to give they've got nothing left coming on in they've got nothing to hope for nothing to wish for but the universe comes on in and gives a surprise so they're indicating there is a more brighter future that is more exciting and more colorful more you know but you just don't see it yet it's just because you're only seeing what's right in front of you you cannot see what is on the horizon okay so the 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 hope is that there is a new option coming on in for you, and there is. Okay, thank you so much, Brett, guys, going angels. It's almost like you're asking the question, is this it? Is this it? Okay, now the solution, what is happening here? Moving on. Six of Swords energy. You're moving on into a place that is more calm. You're relocating um, either actually to a new department 
or to a new job in particular i feel like you're uh, you know you don't want to be stuck in the shadows i feel like you know you want to be it's like a, a rite of passage. It's a necessary change that you're making. You're, you've gained a lot of wisdom in the situation and you've come as far as you can, but you want to move forward. And it's just about the right timing. I feel like you're just waiting for the right moment to be able to move forward. Um, so definitely relocation there. I mean, you could be relocating home or job or, you know, you've asked me to go again, so I'm, I'm going again. Um, disruption. Okay, so they're indicating here, um, it's kind of like this stay or go. It's again, weighing up your options. You don't want to disrupt things, but you know things have to change. This is the tower card. Now, a lot of people, when they go, oh no, not a tower card, I actually enjoy the tower card energy because it basically means a surprise, okay? It, it, you know, it doesn't mean untoward. What it means is where you are right now, it's feeling like it's stuck energy. And you're, it's, for example, you're not making a decision in an area, if you're sitting in the fence, you're sitting on the fence and you have to make a decision on something, the universe comes and sends you something that is a surprise, that actually is like a paradigm shift. It shifts your energy, it gives a sudden upheaval that makes you make a decision. It almost like knocks you off the fence either way, so you have to decide. So the disruption actually comes. Can you see this person is bound? Okay, they're stuck where they are and there needs to be a disruption here that actually um, allows this person to break free. Um, so it is actually a positive energy, even though it presents itself as a tower. Now they asked me to go again, so I will. <laughs> um, it's almost like it takes something away in order to replace it with something better. Thank you so much, Spirit Guide. Whoa. Okay, and we have mental conflict. So again, they're indicating this is why there has to be disruption. Should you stay, should you go? You should go, okay? So they're indicating that mental conflict, you know, sitting on the fence, time to make a compromise. Either you're, because I feel like you are new. There is a new version of yourself and you're not willing to accept what's happening right now. So either you sort of have a conversation with somebody and say, I'm taking action, I'm making changes. Now you either stick with me on this and we do this or I walk away. So definitely this um, sort of anguish there, but there's something, you know, when you get a tower moment, and a Wheel of Fortune, it often indicates the disruption is something that comes, that is from nowhere, that, you know, that um, Wheel of Fortune is a surprise, and it shakes up the status quo so that you can move on, so that you can move on into that brighter day, where, as you can see, all the leaves there, there's fruition, okay, there's growth, there's something that is more exciting that allows you to uh, do something that you love, because again, as I said, six is the number of love, and you've got um, two sixes there, um, and ten is... It's the Wheel of Fortune, but number 10 is about shutting things down, you know, endings bringing new beginnings, and that's what the conflict is in the first place, the challenge. Should I stay? Should I go? Uh, new beginnings. Should I leap into something new? Obviously, you're not going to be um, foolish and sort of leap into a new, you know, leap into the unknown without there being, uh, you know, a job there, for example. You know, you, I don't feel like you're going to just end it without thinking about going into something new. But I, I feel like you're doing a lot of research to find out what is right for you before you move on. Um, I feel like you may have even, even been doing that. We got seven of cups. Oh, they're giving the same energy. So I, I love it. It's beautiful. Uh, we got seven. Oh, oh, boom. We got, this is again, Pisces, you can't, you can't write this. They're giving you exact same energy. We got seven of cups, which is, there's a lot of choices available to you right now. It's should I stay, should I go? As you can see, there's a dragon there. Uh, it's like Komodo dragon. Okay, they're giving me a name. And it's, okay, it's quite a precise name. So one moment, please. It's Delaware, so that's obviously a place. Um, I don't imagine anyone is actually called Delaware, so please take it as it resonates. Either that's the name of a street for you, it could be um, the name of a place for you, uh, it could be a name of a business for you, please take it as it resonates. I mean, it could be a surname, but I, I don't think I've ever met anyone with that surname, but um, so please take it as it resonates. It's not going to be for everyone, please don't try and make it fit, but there's a lot of choices available to you. Uh, we have the Empress and we have the Emperor, okay, again. So they're indicating either you're in a, a, a entrepreneurial partnership with your husband or your wife or your uh, you know your, your better half half there uh, that indicates uh, you know there's some sort of counterpart 
both of you thinking about maybe even going into business together and leaving your respective jobs that are separate and you want to come together to work hard and create something new because we've got right in the center there is a seven of pentacles so it looks like with hard work um, there will be success uh, waiting I feel like you've already sowed the seeds of this so this may be something that you did on the side you and your partner or someone you consider a soulmate or a member of your soul tribe may have started up something new on the side and it's starting to grow exponentially it's going to be very very lucrative you got a lot of confidence in it and you're planning for the future so um you know structurally it, it you've got it all going on you've got the creativity side of it you've got the business side of it there's a lot of uh, exciting movement um and we got the judgment card again so it's it's about that wake up call what is it you want to do you know um you're self-evaluating and there's a rebirth here but also a freedom that comes with it i feel like you're listening to your intuition and you're bang on point you're rising up because of it okay we will leave that there my beautiful pisces i'm just going to give you a um wisdom of the oracle uh, before we close the reading thank you so much spirit guys great angels can you please guide my beautiful whoa okay so we have yang you're taking action baby you're moving forward okay that this is the masculine principle of movement of forwardness of taking action of going out and happening to life you're not just sitting there there's accomplishment here there's confidence there's victory there's motivation and ambition so i feel very much like um you know you're rising up here and creating something new and something exciting so let's read from the book because i don't want to tell you anything wrong the masculine principle of movement and creative activity the power to make things happen and taking action so the prosperity message here is projects partnerships and all matters relating to your business are out of the obstacle phase and into the make it happen phase now is the time to stake your claim and get better things done while you can expect to be busier than usual this card tells you that you have all the energy and vitality you need to accomplish your goals abundance is waiting for you to claim it told you you're totally owning this this is you're you're just you're going out there and creating something really special it's going to be very very successful okay i'm just going to give you a trinket before we close thank you so much for it guys great angels can you please guide my beautiful oh we have musical notes okay so it looks like uh, it's almost like soul song but there's an energy here of you know things coming together quite nicely you know there may even be three of you who are in this partnership because there's three notes there but they're indicating here that um it's like this maybe whatever it is you do is uh musical or artistic in some way um and it, it somehow connects to music or maybe you're actually i mean notes sorry just give me something one moment please they're indicating you're recognizing that everything is connected and it feels like there has been um messages three in total one came on in and you're like meh it doesn't really affect me the second one's like oh this doesn't really affect me but this could be interesting and then the third note is something that's really exciting and blows things out of the water for you okay now i don't know if you noticed and it may not have come out on the video there so i'm going to watch back but just as i was talking about the second note into the third note my voice kind of like went a little bit um almost like in surround sound i don't know what happened there it was really weird um it's almost like i spoke like a with a tannoy or something so it's like a loudspeaker i don't know maybe it's something you're going to shout from the mountains once you get it done or it's something to do with your speaking voice whatever it is you do maybe it's public speaking or something to do with your voice um please take it as it resonates because they were indicating these three notes and then when i was talking about the third note my voice just went like amplified all of a sudden um hopefully it got caught on the, the video there um where would you like this they want it on the empress card okay because there's a lot of confidence here it feels like you're a new version of yourself and you're coming into the path that you're always meant to be on your life's purpose okay so it feels very much like um things are coming together for you so we will leave that there okay my beautiful pisces i hope something resonated in this reading for you if it did please like or subscribe to my channel completely free for you all you have to do is press the little bell apparently that's important it lets you know when i update my next message it lets me know that you resonate with this reading which is very important for me thank you so much my beautiful pisces love and light